everyone. I'm kind of seeing stars right now because I was looking into my light, but hello, I'm back with another collective haul. I know this is super close to like my last one because y'all know I lately have only been doing collective hauls like maybe once every 10 million years and so... Today I'm bringing you guys another one and that is because I finally got my package shipped from Paceable. This is one of two and literally it just took forever. I'll get into like a little bit of that story time later, but I'm gonna go ahead and open these two things first. I don't remember what is in here, but I think there is some signed goodies, so there should be at least. I hope so, so. One of these isn't even K-pop related, but I think it's pretty exciting, so I'm gonna open it, but that is that one, and I'll go ahead and open this first, which, as y'all can see, the gig is up. I already opened it, but I joined a group order for Etsy's MMT, I think, second round. A photo card or whatever and then I joined this person's group order points of trading and I think they're on Twitter but I think they're also on Instagram and I think the way that he packaged this is super cute like I don't know I fuck with this because you don't have to use bubble wrap and I might start doing that but we got the pre-order benefits oh and we got Miss Leah and then I already showed these before so I'm not gonna go ahead and open these but we got version C, and then we have our cards back here. Oh my god. We have our Leah card. Yay, this card is so freaking cute. I think out of the MMT cards, this one is my favorite between the first and second round. Literally, the first round is taking forever. I, like, joined this person's group order, and then we got these two Leah cards, and then we have this, and... Like I said, it's not even K-pop related, but it is pretty exciting. I feel like everybody who is a K-pop stan stands this artist, and that probably gave away who I'm talking about. But, oh my god, what? Okay, so like, I saw somebody else's signed CD, and it was like, down here. So like, I'm wondering, because I got two, I got, um, actually I can't say because that's gonna spoil it. <laughs> oh my god. This, okay, Miss Ari, come through. I guess I'll go ahead and put this sticker, like, down here. I feel like I'm gonna get questions about this, but basically, it just went up on her store, and I just happened to be awake, and I'm so grateful that I was awake, you know? And then, onto the main events. We have my Paceable package. Literally, fuck Paceable. They're probably never gonna watch this, but... So, what happened was... I had a stuff at Paceable and I've been accumulating stuff for like the past few months and I requested the stuff to get shipped but for some reason they put it into two packages instead of one and I didn't want to have to pay shipping twice so I'm like um well can y'all merge it into one package and they're like okay cool and if anyone has used Paceable y'all know that the customer service is absolute shit and so it had been like a, like two months since they said they were going to merge my package and they hadn't but I was regularly sending them inquiries like, hello, like, it's been two months, like, you haven't sent out my shit or you haven't merged my package, like, hello. And then one day they just, like, set the delivery fee on one of the packages and I was like, okay, like, I literally just want my stuff at this point, just, I'll pay for it separately, like, I don't care anymore. And Paceable is just, like, the biggest pain in the ass, so I literally hate Paceable, I'm never using Paceable. If I okay, it's editing Randy here, I know, I look bad but i just want to say that i know it sounds like i'm being unreasonable because there is a whole pandemic going on and i do realize that stuff is backed up but my issue with paceable was that they were answering other people's inquiries and like being selective with what they wanted to answer and then like there were people who i was like like I said, waiting for my package to be merged for two months, but there was people who had like requested merging, got a shipping quote, and their package sent out in like the time span that I was waiting. So it's not even like they were just backed up, they were just ignoring me, and that was the issue that I was having. So if anybody has like recommendations for other Korean address services, do let me know. Corgu, but Corgu I heard has also been pretty slow, so um, I'm not with the shits for Corgu either. So this is a smaller box. I'm not 100% sure what's in here. Let's just go ahead and do this. This was, I'm pretty sure, 
my order from K-Town for you. I didn't want to get this sent to my US address and it was just like one magazine and I there was something else that I wanted to buy so I was like let me just go ahead and send this there. I'm pretty sure, 90% sure Miss Joy is in here, but it's literally been so long that I don't remember. But like, that's kind of my only criteria for buying a magazine, or the only reason why I would buy a magazine, is if Miss Joy was in it, so. Oh my God, okay, yes! I knew Miss Joy had to be in here. Okay, so. Ooh, this girl's kind of serving too. We have these two pictures. Can you believe I buy a whole ass magazine just to get like six pictures of Joy? Like, the definition of whip sloth, literally. These. And then, I think I didn't show this page yet, but there's that, and then that's kind of pretty much it. We have this stuff, which isn't a lot of stuff, but, um, Let's go ahead, what should we open? There's a bunch of letters in here. Let's go ahead and start with the letters because um, I'm curious to see what's in here. Some of the stuff watch it like not even be mine. That's how this always goes is that like people get sent stuff to my, or people send stuff to my Korean address and I don't know what it is. See like this question mark, like, it's a Lucky Box card, and I'm pretty sure it says Wendy. <gasps> what the hell? Who the fuck bought a Lucky Box card and got it sent to my Korean address? <gasps> what? And more importantly, why haven't I found Joy's? Card isn't super high on my priority list because it doesn't have her face on it, but oh my god, this is like such a rare card, and I've never seen one of these. This is cool. Oh, this one is actually mine. Okay, this is like kind of not an exciting thing though. Um, but I saw it up for sale and I was like, you know what? I'm bored. <laughs> Let me snatch these up. Okay, so this is from when they performed at the Dream Concert. This is literally my brand, Hello, Miss Party Bomb and Miss Red Velvet. And this is when they performed, like I said, at Dream Concert. And they had like, um, I'm assuming, photo cards as merch items. Like you could buy, like you know how KCON does it. Um, but yeah, there's these two. They're super cute. They were super cheap. And I'm always on the lookout for more bomb stuff. So I was like, let me just go ahead and snatch her up. And I'm like 90% sure this one isn't mine either because it's in another like Wendy Dear You thing. But let's go ahead and open it to find out. Oh my god, it's, I can't show this like on camera, I'm gonna have to blur it, but it's so freaking pretty. It's her Dear You Sappy card, so. This does not look familiar at all. This looks like season greeting cards, which I don't remember ordering, which is probably not mine. Oh my god, don't tell me every single season. Oh. Oh my god, it's a bunch of like, Wendy cards. What the hell? Oh, okay, so I know who bought this. <laughs> oh my god, they're so freaking cute. What the hell, I still need this card. I don't even have this card yet. Oh my god, yay! It's a summer, red summer promo album. I almost have summer magic. Um, I, literally, my desk is so messy right now, y'all don't wanna see it. Oh my god, I didn't know it came with a Joy card. Joy, don't be shy, sign the card. Open the album and sign the card, hello. Back here we have the silver sticker, which means that it is a promo. But yeah, I'm like in the process of trying to get like, oh, there's a not for sale. Thing right here too, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm in the process of trying to get like every single Red Velvet signed album, which honestly like isn't going like super bad, but like there's just not a lot of stuff in the Korean tags, so. Oh my God, it's so freaking pretty. 
And then we have this. I'm so freaking excited. Oh my god, it's Joy's birthday necklaces. These are so tiny. Oh my god, when I put these on and never take it off and I like, my skin starts turning green, but there's these birthday necklaces. So last year they did, I believe, bracelets. This year they did necklaces of their signatures and I think they're so much cuter than the bracelets, so. Hi everyone, this is another box that I have and this is a box from my Karina dress. Okay. Let me make sure nothing has my address on it. This is not my address. This is like caseable address. Okay, I'm gonna have to like blur this slightly. Sorry. My apologies. Oh my god. all of this stuff and I'm nervous <laughs> um but let's go ahead and start digging into stuff question mark let's start with this oh I am excited so these are freebies <gasps> is this a no this is so cute Oh, it says thank you so much. Review, please. Oh my god, that's sweet. I, I don't remember who the seller is on Fun Chong though. But oh my god, that is so sweet. Oh my god, there's this birthday, um, or Silky's birthday photo Polaroid. We have this Joy Polaroid, and then a bunch of freebies. These are so freaking cute. What the heck? None. We have this Russian roulette here. Oh my god. Okay. Sar. We have these. Oh my god, they're so freaking cute. So, we have the Polaroid set. One, two. Let me, I'm just counting them to make sure that we got all of the members, but oh my god, Yeti's red hair is literally insane. I think, I feel like I've said this before, but literally no person ever, no idol ever has, wait. Okay, I thought I was missing a Joy one, but no idol ever has looked bad with red hair. Like, it just... It just isn't a thing, you know? Like, it's a, like when people just don't look bad with, you know, nose piercings, because if you're thinking about getting one, I guarantee you, no way that you're gonna look bad with it. They only make people cuter, sorry. You should do it if you're thinking about getting a nose piercing, which is totally unrelated. But oh my god, these are so pretty, and the backs are like every member's respective color. Oh my god, Miss Joy. It's so weird because I have these like in my binder, at least Joy's, and it's weird seeing them in a set. It makes me want to collect like all of them. The reason why I got this was because, you know, if I ever decide that I wanted to, then like I'll have them just because it was a really good price. But lately, uh, I used to do this thing where actually I'll continue my story time like when I start opening. Let's open this, whatever. Um, so I can continue, but I used to do this thing where I would just check Korean Twitter religiously, even though there's really nothing that I'm on the search for, um, just for like random merch, and yeah, that's just something I used to do, but I haven't been doing that, because I really said it's a bad habit, because it makes me want to buy literally everything. <gasps> this person did not... Did they give me a Joy freebie? So, oh my god! Okay, so I wanted Joy's bookmark from the Trolls event. So this is what this one looks like. This is the Power Up one, and it's honestly the cutest, like my favorite one out of all of them. And then we have this cute message card, and then Joy's fan club card, which is so cute. Yeah, let's just blaze through all of the letters real quick. 
don't think that this is mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in because I can't even technically show you all the cards anyway. So, oh, but we have these. Okay, I'm gonna guess, and I'm just gonna grab one because I'm pretty sure one of these is like for my friend. So, <laughs> I'm nervous. <gasps> Oh my god, shut up. I can't show this to y'all, and this is not me being elitist. It's just that, like, I'm not trying to catch a lawsuit. I'm sorry. But we got Wendy's like, sappy card from Dear You, and this one is, like, so cute. And this one was, I remember, my favorite out of the two months. So freaking cute. And then hopefully, I think there was another sappy card, but I can't remember what month it was for. Please be... <gasps> Oh my god, the pool was so good. We've got both of Wendy's sappy cards, and if y'all know what these cards look like, they're so freaking cute. Like, oh my god, we literally won. So, what is this? Oh, another bookmark, okay. Oh my god, they gave me this really cute sticker. I'm pretty sure these are from like a Revlove artist who does like a lot of fundraising for LGBT in Korea, which, you know, we stand. And if I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. But then we have this other bookmark. This is the third one, or not third one, the second one. So there is these two and there should be one more. Let's hope that it's one of these. Is it? Oh my god, no. It's some um, actually Trolls cards. Okay, so this was actually a group order that is not mine. It's actually my friend Andy's, but um, we basically ordered Trolls cards like when these first came out because we saw a set and we were like, you know, we're scared that we're not going to be able to get them and the cards are like in so much circulation, is that the word I'm looking for? Are in circulation like a lot more common than we thought they would be, so our Joy and Yeti are stuck together. So we have these, and then it also came with Irene's bookmark. This was the Russian roulette one, so that one is really cute. Then we have this. <gasps> Yay, so I got Joy and Sulgi's hollow card, and then Yeti is back here because I wanted to collect a full set of the hollows. So I believe all of these are mine, but I just realized that I'm missing Joy, so I know that she should be in here. Let's open this. Ooh. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is like a bookmark because of how long it is. Yes, okay, so we got last bookmark, the last bookmark, and it is Miss Joy, Russian Roulette. So, these are like so pointless, but I don't know, like my ass when I saw the Summer Magic one, I was like, oh my god, I need these, and then I couldn't like not get the summer magic one and then not get the remaining ones. So we have Joy's Russian roulette. <gasps> the way I open these is like literally so messy. <gasps> oh my god, I hope this is what I think it is. Okay. <gasps> this is like stressing me out because I don't want to like, you know, bend the card or anything. We got two Joy Hollows, and one of these is actually for Maria, and the Summer Magic card is as well. And then I bought Joy's Hollow because like I said, I wanted to collect a full set. Only ones that I pulled from my group order, I like sacrificed a lot of cards in my group order so that like people could get them, and like I just kind of got like the two cards that I absolutely needed. I got Irene and Wendy Hollow because I wasn't able to find them for sale. So then I bought these ones, and then I was like stressing out about Irene and Wendy, and I was like, you know what, I can just get them from my group order, so why am I stressing out about it? So, they're so freaking pretty. There's the Summer Magic one, we already saw, and then there's two Joy Hollows. Next. Ooh, this one's like thick. 
Randy Wong. Okay, come through with the government name. Oh my god, yay! So we got the automatic prints, and that's because they think that this is like one of the last ones that I needed. So I went ahead and bought it. Let's go ahead and rip the tape. Oh my god, they're so freaking pretty. This was like SM's only 4x6, like actually 4x6 photo set because these ones are the ones that like fit in the pages because all the ones that came after this are a little bit bigger than 4x6. Oh my god, these are so pretty though. Oh my god, I freaking love velvet concepts. Like, oh my god, I can't wait for them to give us a velvet concept in this January. I really can't. I'm kind of blazing through these and I feel like it's because I have anxiety about the package with the cards. Actually, should we open this and see if this is it? <sighs> now I can breathe a huge sigh of relief because I was so scared. So, the story with the seller is that basically they were taking forever to send out to the point where it was getting sus because they would make excuses like they would be like oh yeah like i'm going to send out today or whatever and i would be like okay cool and then the next day would come and they would be like crickets and i'd be like okay so are you going and they're like oh yeah i'm still going but like i would check the korean time and the post office would already be closed so then i'm like are you sure like the post office is already closed so like obviously they were lying and you know like it's cool if you can't go to ship out like i perfectly understand that people have lives but just the fact that this person just kept being like oh my god like yeah i'm going and then like didn't go was like annoying, you know? Does that make sense? If you were too busy, like all you really had to do was tell me you were busy and I would've been like, cool, just send it whenever you know. Yeah, this seller just like gave me high anxiety. <laughs> Let's just take these out because I'm like hella confused. So he shoved all of the ice cream cake cards in here. So we have Irene, Sulky, Wendy, Yeti. This is Joy. And then Yeti. Sorry, miss. I gotta mix <laughs> up. I'm so sorry, Maknae Line. We have Irene, Sogi, Wendy. All these cards are like sticking together. <gasps> Joy, I forgot how cute that card was. The individually sleeved the velvet cards. Love that for me. Then we have Russian Roulette. <gasps> oh my god. They must have been running out of sleeves. <laughs> so we have Ricky. There's like, it feels like there's, oh, there's probably two cards in Wendy's because that feels extra thick, like both of her, oh, yeah. Oh my God, the backs, like the different colored backs bother me so much. Like, hello. So where is Irene's card? <laughs> oh, it's right here, okay. Bitches were about to panic. I'm just so freaking relieved. Like, I was really convinced that I had gotten scammed by this person, even though they sent it out. Like, you know, just because they sent it out doesn't mean that they couldn't, like, have sent me something as a scam, you know? Like, not sent me the cards, if that makes sense. So, we have those, and everyone in my group is gonna be so excited. Okay, these. And then, Wendy. There should be one more Wendy. Yes, the cutest. And then we have all of Retta Summer here, right? Okay, there's an Irene card stuck to her. <laughs> These really were sitting in there like airtight, like in the peaceable warehouse, because they're all stuck together. I love that they sleeved all of these though. That makes my life so much easier. Bless the seller, even though they scared the shit out of me. We have um, bad boy cards. And then Joy. Yeti. Um, okay. And then we have Kino cards. Sorry, I don't know like if I've been on camera this whole time because I haven't been looking. But we, because I've been looking like at the cards, so the cards are so freaking gorgeous. I forgot how freaking cute these are. Okay, Sar, we have Summer Magic, and 
they didn't have Wendy or Irene. Let's move these up a little bit. Look how many cards we still have to go. Oh my god. So we have Cookie Jar. I'm so freaking happy. I need the group card from this. So I finally have my group card. Yay. And then RBB, the cutest. Oh my god. So freaking cute. And then we have Joy and Yeti. This is when it starts getting a little fuzzy for me just because there's like so many versions. But this Sulky card is literally God tier. Oh my god, I haven't been like in the center this whole time. I'm so sorry. But Sulky card is God tier. And then Wendy's is stuck back here. Wendy, Joy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is the card that I held the group order for. Can you believe I held a whole ass group order just for me to get one card? <laughs> and it's this one. It's so cute. Oh my god. So we have these. Do they have joys? They didn't. So they have these three. Oh my god. Freaking love it here. Um, Irene. Sulky. Wendy. Um, Joy. R.I.P. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and skip that card real quick. <laughs> and then we have the day two guidebook cards. So we really are struggling, I'm sorry. There's those. And then we have the Kino cards. Question mark. Yes, the Kino cards are so freaking cute. And then we have Irene's or not Irene's, just the group's day two cards. These are stuck together. So there's, oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we didn't get scammed because this set was so expensive. And can you imagine having to freaking refund people out of pocket for these cards? Like RIPs. So freaking excited. The way that we just like basically went through Red Velvet's entire discography except for Finale. Okay, now I can breathe and take my sweet time. Hmm. This must be not mine. This must be a friend's. Oh yeah, if these are like all of the base note cards, then it's definitely not mine. But, oh my god, they're so freaking cute. I love these cards. And then y'all know what the postcards look like, so I'm not gonna show those to y'all. And then this also isn't mine, and I don't really want to take it out of the packaging. But it's just, again, like another set of those the red like dum dum individual photo cards. This was like a group order that somebody else held and then got it sent to my Korean address. So we have this next and I'm excited. This looks tight. <laughs> okay, so we have an RBB signed album and now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> this kind of looks sus like kind of manager signs, but I don't know. I feel like RBB promos are so hard to come by and a lot of the ones that you do see like look like shit. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and snatch it up. And then if like a better one comes along, then so be it. But usually like the signatures just look really weird. In an ideal world, I would have like a silver Sharpie one because then the signatures would show up better. But these ones are like cute nonetheless. So there's that and then there's like the sticker and the not for sale thing. I think I bought these for like something else though because I don't remember drawing just the rookie cards. Yes. So I remember I found this for such a good price. Like they were selling both of them and I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and snatch these. So now we have another postcard set and we have rookie this time. So we have group postcards. These are what the backs look like if anyone is curious. <gasps> oh my god, Irene! Original visual! Oh my god. Sylvie, so her hair like this is so freaking cute. Wendy, she served with the blue hair. Miss Joy, you already know my feelings about Joy. It feels like I'm doing like Fifth Harmony's Jingle Ball intro <laughs> right now. Probably introduce Fifth Harmony! Epic Wrecking Zone! 
Fifth Harmony. Ladies and gentlemen, Fifth Harmony. Where I'm like introducing all of the members, but yeah, those are so freaking cute. So, oh my god, I really want to collect all the postcards now. Then we have this, which is like the final uh, 4x6 thing that I was missing. I was missing, why is I missing? I was missing this uh, 4x6 Russian roulette one. I'm pretty much all caught up. The things, the ones that I don't have are like day one, day two, and finale, but I'm not too worried about those just because like I feel like those are still in circulation. But I should probably get those before their next comeback because definitely they're gonna be sold out by then. I thought this was gonna rip easily. Okay, Facebook kind of got creative with the packaging, I guess. They did. <laughs> They like cut my Yes24 box and like just use it as backing. Okay, I respect the hustle. Uh, oh my god, okay, looks like I didn't cut through it. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go through all of this troll stuff. This is like the last thing, I believe. So we have new troll stickers and they're so freaking cute. I probably won't deck out my phone in them just because the last time I did that, it was cute, but then the stickers would like slide and like, I don't feel like hot gluing them or like whatever, like gluing them down. So I got kind of tired of having them on my case. Then we have like a, a tablet thing. Which, not gonna lie, this looks kind of huge. Like, this looks way too big. It's cute, like how could I pass this up, you know? So, it basically just looks like this. I'm assuming my iPad goes in here, and then all my accessories go in here. Is this a shirt? I don't remember ordering this. I can't wait for it to not fit me because Korean sizes be tiny. But, okay, I'm not gonna open it on camera. But this is a shirt that I got and it's so freaking cute. There's that. And then we have this fan. I'm so glad that this came though because apparently Yes24 has sent me the wrong order and then Facebook's like, hey, Yes24 is asking for this box back. Like, do you want to send it back to them? And I was like, sure. And then didn't really ever hear anything back, but I hope that they sent it back and like got the correct items or whatever. Okay. So, I'm so dumb, why would I buy this? Like, what am I gonna do with this? Seriously, what am I gonna do with that? Okay, so, let's look at the notebook first. Let's a little, do a little inspector gadget on her. I wanna see what she looks like. I'm probably never gonna use her. <gasps> This is cute. It's like little, like, if I wanted to color in, you can't even see on camera, but if I wanted to color in her face, like, however many pages there are, then I could. And then we have postcards. So we have this one, and if you watch, like, I think my last collective haul, I actually have the other postcard, um, cause it's sold out. And then we have Sulgi's postcard. We have this group one, which is really cute. This Irene one, question mark, that kind of looks like Yeti though. But yeah, it's Yeti, because I'm colorblind. That shit is purple. Um, we have Joys. <laughs> These are so cute. Like if you hung them on your wall or something. <gasps> oh my God, I think Wendy's might be my favorite though. Or Joys, they're so freaking cute. And then we have <laughs> this pop socket. Let's see if I zoom in. If y'all can see it. Should we open it? I wanna see, I'm a sucker for pop sockets, so. This was a no-brainer, apparently it's a mirror. In case you know you ever needed to look at yourself in your pop socket. How do I open this? Bitch. Open. Is this our dom? Did I just break it? <laughs> and then the last thing, well not last thing, we have this keychain, but the last things that we have are these badges. These are so freaking cute. Now y'all know me, I don't speak Korean, so I cannot read all the messages that are like across here. But we have Joy's and Sulgi, 
Wendy, Yeti, and Irene. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my ending shot. Y'all know I've been stacking on the ending shots. We'll sprinkle in a little OC5 photo card haul <laughs> right here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I know that this collective haul like came super quick after my last one. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and peace out. Mm -hmm.